Red Star for the Hawks, number 11, sponsored by Leeds Baker Company. John Back home again today against Hemel Stags. Um, a, a victory in the end, but a frustrating victory probably. Well, yeah, really, really good victory. I'm really pleased with it. Um, but yeah, there was um, 
a lot of disruption in the game, a lot of frustration in the game, um, which 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 led to uh, a game that wasn't free flowing, a lot of stop start, uh, a lot of impingements and infringements in the game that uh, yeah that, that that made it a scrappy game and um, you know probably not a great spectacle. But in terms of the scoreline and the uh, you know the the application the players showed at uh, at times when they needed to dig in uh, was pleasing. In that first half, set off um, really well, um, probably better than we have done in the last few games. Um, got a couple of early tries and then a couple of chances that probably should have been tries but just failed at the last minute. We did, we had a real real pleasing start to the game. Um, played with some real intensity and some purpose and uh, got a couple of scores, um, bombed a couple or had a couple ruled out. Um, and um, from then on in, like I said, the, the game got slower. The rook was very, very slow. Um, first 20 minutes or so, it was pretty quick. That's probably why we were on the front foot. But uh, um, yeah, the you know the, the game got very scrappy, very slow. Uh, lots of infringements, lots of stoppages in the game, and uh, yeah, it um, it allowed Hemel to uh, to spoil our tactics a little bit. And then in the second half, again came out quickly out of the blocks, scored again. But again, it was a long time then between tries um, and the game got, as you say, quite scrappy where it was a midfield battle. But we always, again, as a Hunslet, always seem to be pinned back in our half for quite a bit of that half. Well, yeah, the, that's the one of the confusing things is the... Um you know the game slowed down. We were in well, well in control of the game. Uh, scored the try at the start of the second half, um, but then we, you know, we end up conceding five, six penalties in uh, in a ten-minute spell. Uh, that led to us defending our try line. Uh, you know, because of the, uh, you know, the five or six uh, penalties on the bounce, um, that was confusing. Uh, that was confusing. That confused the players because we thought we were playing within the rules of the game. Um, we thought that Hemel weren't. Um, we thought that they got away with a hell of a lot today. Okay, but again, at the end of it, um, a, a bit of an unsavoury uh, punch up, which will go to the review board. But you've also got quite a few injuries as well today. We have. We've picked up some knocks. Um, again, you know, I'm not sure as the, as the extent or the reasons why at, at this stage. But Danny Mons tweaked his hamstring really early on. Uh, Andy Yates has got a, a bicep injury. We're hopeful that that should settle down. Um, Again, we, you know, we don't want Andy to uh, start missing games through injury now when he's just got back after a, a six-month layoff. Michael Lilly's hyperextended his elbow. Uh, we're not sure how serious that may or may not be at this stage. And James Houston is off to hospital um, with a, a bout of concussion. Um, yeah, got a, a nasty whack on his head right on his temple there. So, uh, you know, fingers crossed that's not too bad. We've, at least you've got a week off and hopefully some of those um, injuries might settle down. And then we've got uh, another home game against Gloucester. We have yet. Yeah, you know, frustrating time because of the, um, the you know the week on week off scenario that we've had this month. Um, you know, it, it, it doesn't enable any any continuity or, or momentum, so to speak. But um, you know, it, it, it might not be a bad thing this week because it might allow the uh, the players that have got the knocks to uh, to get them addressed and rehabilitated in, in readiness for Gloucester. All right, thank you very much, and uh, well done, a good victory. Thank you. All.